My name is Gail Neoka. Today I will tell you a story that was told to me by Albert Kwesi Adanfo, who lives in the village of Taffy Atome in Ghana's Volta region. It is the story of how Spider survived a famine. You may know Spider by the name of Kweku Anansi, but many storytellers will simply call him Spider. Who is Kweku Anansi? Is he tall? Is he small? Is he a man? Is he a spider? He is all those things. Spider, man, small, tall. He is a shape changer. The only thing I can tell you for sure about Spider is that he is a trickster. And the only thing you can rely on with a trickster is, well, let me give you this example. Long ago, before our great-great-grandfathers were born, before our great-great-great-grandmothers were born, spiders and human beings lived together. There came a famine in the land. The crops failed, animals were hungry, people were hungry, everybody suffered. The only place that had food was the king's palace. The king was rich and could send to far away lands to have food brought to him. Now the king's mother was old and she was sick. In fact, she was dying. It was the custom at the time that when a royal person died, somebody would be killed and they would be buried with the royal person to serve them in the afterlife. Of course, the king wanted this for his mother and he sent out a message that anyone who volunteered to be killed when his mother died could come to the palace and have all the food they wanted. Spider heard this. He was very hungry. I will go to the palace, he said. I will be killed with the Queen Mother and until that time I will eat. The king accepted Spider's offer and Spider and all his family came to the palace and had all the food they wanted. They were happy until the day that the Queen Mother died. Now the Queen Mother would not be buried for some days because there were ceremonies to be performed befitting her high status. Spider got busy. He made a trumpet and called his son to him. Take this trumpet, go to the place where the Queen Mother will be buried, climb a high tree and broadcast this message. The Queen Mother is dead and Spider will be buried with her. It has been foretold that the day Spider dies, there will be no more rain for years. There will be worse famine, worse than you have ever known. You will all suffer. Spider's son took the trumpet, went to the place where the Queen Mother would be buried, climbed the tall tree and broadcast the message. On the day of the Queen Mother's burial, Spider pretended to be happy that he would be killed and buried with her. 
but people had become worried and had gathered to protest Spider's death. We don't want Spider to die, they said. Spider, don't die. We don't want to suffer. You must live. No, no, said Spider. Let me die. I will serve the Queen Mother. But the people shouted, No, Spider, do not die. It is better that you take yourself far from here, far away from people. Well, if you insist, said Spider. And he took himself far away. Now you will see Spider's webs. Sometimes in the bush or the woods, in your garden, perhaps even in the corners of your house. It is a reminder that once spiders and human beings used to live together. And that is the end of my story. <laughs>